This video is going to be an update on the state of cheap miniatures for D&D in the year 2019. The channel How To D&D just uploaded a video titled Where To Buy The Cheapest Official D&D Miniatures 2019, where they talked extensively about this. I'm going to cover some of the same information, but here is my perspective. To find a deal on pre-painted miniatures, either for the newer WizKid stuff or the older Hasbro line, you have to put in some work. You either have to wait for a coupon from a major online retailer, take advantage of a deal at a local gaming store, get real lucky on eBay, or wait on eBay for a coupon to happen. There's no sales on these miniatures on Amazon that happens on any kind of regular basis. It is very difficult to get a standard booster box of four miniatures for less than $12 or $10 nowadays. Ironically, the best source of pre-painted miniatures for a good price might very well come from a product that I didn't like. The unpainted version of the Dungeon of the Mad Mage board game was very underwhelming. There were no translucent miniatures like previous editions. I think the quality has gone down a lot. However, the premium edition of this game does come with pre-painted miniatures, and we're going to see some very good prices on this product as time goes by. For example, it is at around $100 right now on Miniature Market. That is a solid deal, and unlike booster packs, these miniatures are not randomized. Of course, that's just in general. You can always get lucky and find something interesting, such as this expansion pack for Agricola. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the game, but it has an old lady feeding ducks. I needed some more townsfolk miniatures quickly, and this was a great deal at $8 on eBay. For unpainted inexpensive miniatures, the reigning champions are still the older D&D board game sets that have a lot of really great unpainted D&D specific miniatures. And of course, EM4, which has dirt cheap dwarf and orc miniatures from the old Grenadier board game molds. Those are going to require some mold line cleanup, but they are some amazing looking old school retro miniatures that are fun to paint up. And of course, I have to give a quick shout out to the SCS Direct Fantasy Creatures action figure playset. 90 miniatures for 20 bucks. Still a great deal. If you're interested in spending a little bit more money on D&D specific unpainted miniatures, check out your local game store and see if they stock the WizKids unpainted lines or if they stock Reaper Bones. Unfortunately for most of the rest, you just have to wait for major online retailers to have a sale. And as always, you can do what I do. Go to your local thrift store and see if there's anything there that inspires you. In fact, I recently found the Hong Kong toy that inspired the original Bullet Monster. You never know what you're going to find out there. If you have found anything cool out in the wild, let me know in the comments below.